What's up YouTube? Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. I'm Katie and on today's video we're going to be going through my August week four budget check-in. So we're going to go through all of the transactions from August 22nd through August 28th. So as always if I spend anything after the 28th that will be shown in my final budget check-in. So let's go ahead and get started because we do have more transactions than we did last week. So on the 22nd we got some food at Walmart so we we're trying not to spend a whole lot because I didn't have a lot of money left, to be honest. So we only spent $63.30, which was pretty good. And again, that came out of our grocery fund. Also on the 22nd, I stopped at the ATM to get Logan some cash for his birthday. His birthday was this week and the main thing that he asked for was cash. So I did buy him a few gifts, but I wanted to um, kind of honor his wishes and get him cash because he is getting older now and he wants more expensive things. So he always just asks for money so he can buy what he wants when he wants it. So that came out of our gift budget. Also on the 22nd, I did buy him a book from Amazon. So this was like a collector's edition book for the Zelda Tears of the Kingdom game. So that was $38.80 and that also came out of our gift fund. Again, on the 22nd, Mark bought a book from Amazon as well. So that was $26.75 and that came out of his spending. On the 23rd, I bought some roses for Liam's teachers. So he had two teachers who had birthdays this week. And I signed up this year to be a room mom in Liam's class because um, I've never done anything like that before because I've always had Owen with me. So I can't really volunteer a lot at their school when I had Owen because all of the stuff um, that they needed help with, I would have had to bring Owen along. But now that Owen is in school, I can kind of volunteer a little bit more. And um, if you know me in real life, um, you know that I'm shy, which I know a lot of you don't, but you know that I'm shy and I'm kind of awkward. So I don't really know what I was thinking signing up for this, but I kind of just wanted to help out. So um, part of my job as a room mom is to make sure that the teachers get gifts for their birthday. So I don't always have to pay for these gifts. Um, Usually you would send out an email to all the parents and they would all chip in. But since this was so early in the year, I didn't really even have a chance to do that. These birthdays just kind of stuck, snuck up on me. So I did have the kids make birthday cards for the teachers, but then I stopped at Costco and bought some roses for them. They were like $18 per dozen, so it wasn't too bad. And again, I don't always have to pay for this stuff out of pocket. It would just happen that way this time. And um, it's not a big deal. So that came out of our gift fund as well. And then while I was at Costco, of course, I bought snacks and drinks because those are kind of the Achilles heel of our budget. And we always spend too much on snacks and drinks. So that came out of our grocery budget as well. And then also on the 23rd, I ordered some rosaries for my two older boys. So that was $15.60 from Amazon. And I took that on my boys spending. And um, I feel like I buy rosaries every single year. So they do go to a Catholic school. We are actually not Catholic, but the boys do go to a Catholic school. So they ask that they have rosaries. And I don't know what my boys do with them. Like I swear they lose them or break them or something happens to them and I buy them every single year. So $15.60 on that. Hopefully I won't have to buy any more anytime soon. And then this was nice. So because the boys were at school this day and Mark was off this week, we were kind of like off together. I mean, I guess technically I'm always off. But normally um, I have to do school with the boys, but since the boys were at school this day, we had like an opportunity to kind of take a day date. So we went to this brunch spot that we were wanting to try for quite some time. They always have like a line out the door and we assume that they're really good because they're always super busy, especially on the weekends. So we figured since the boys weren't with us that we would take the opportunity to go. And I didn't put the name of the place since it, it's just like a locally owned place. I didn't wanna give our location away. But um, it was really, really good. We both had like breakfast there and it was definitely worth the $40.23. And I feel like I don't say that often when we eat out. We just don't have a lot of really good restaurants around us, but this one was very good and we will definitely be going back. So that came out of our eating out fund. And then on the 24th, this was Logan's actual birthday. So we had homeschool this day, but um, because it was his birthday, we tried to get some of the stuff done early so that we could finish school before lunch and then take him out to lunch because we have like a little tradition in our family that whoever's birthday it is, they get to decide where we eat that day. 
So Logan actually wanted to go down to the mall and eat at Sarki Japan. So it's not like a standalone restaurant. It's inside the mall food court, but he also wanted to shop at the mall. So we bought Sarki Japan for everyone. So that was $53.89. That came out of our eating out fund. And then we also stopped and got gas on the 24th. So that was $54.13 out of our gas budget. And then on the 25th, Mark had to get gas in the car that he drives. So that was $48.87 again out of our gas budget. On the 26th, I paid the boys for their chore money for the week, which they did not do very many chores this week. I think it was just kind of an odd week because Mark was off. So we're just kind of off of our schedule. And I didn't really remind the boys to do chores and they didn't think about it or maybe they didn't want to do them. I don't know, but they didn't earn very much. So this was $6 for all three of them. So that came out of my boy spending fund. And then on the 27th, we had a no spend day. So that was nice. And then on the 28th, we got dinner at Chick-fil-A. So that was $33.99 and that came out of our eating out fund. So now we'll go look and see how much money we have left in all of our cash budget categories or in this month's case we'll see how much we are over in all of our budget categories because we did have a lot of overage this month all right so our first fund is groceries so we started with fifteen hundred dollars for the month and we actually did really well in the last week we spent 171 dollars and i knew we didn't have a lot of money left so we were trying to stay within budget we did go a dollar over but honestly that's not bad i'm not mad about that at all um, if we could be just a dollar over every single month, I'd be fine with that. So I'm very happy with how our grocery spending went for August. For gas spending, we spent $104 this week and we are now at $32 over budget for the month. And I kind of knew that we would be over budget last week because gas prices are going up and then we're also driving more than we were in the summer months. And I didn't really plan accordingly for that. So we did go over budget, but it will be fine. Luckily, Mark already had, or has already received both of his paychecks for the month as I'm filming this video. And we did have a little bit of extra income. So we have enough to cover all of our overage. We don't have anything extra beyond that really, but thankfully we do have enough to cover all of the overage in our category. So it's gonna be fine, but it just sucks that we were over so much, but let's continue on. So for my boys spending, we started with $425. We only spent 22 this week and we still have 65 left, which I'm actually really happy with because most months or for the past few months, it seems like we are either always afraid of going over because we get really close or sometimes we do go over. So I'm happy that we actually had quite a bit of money left. Um, and what I will do with this money is put some of it into their school fund for next year. And then the rest of it will go into their birthday funds for next year because all of their birthdays are done for this year. We have June, July, and August birthdays. So now their birthdays are all finished so we can start saving up for next year. For Mark spending, he started with 250. He spent 27 this week and he has $99 left. I'm so proud of him. I don't know if you guys, if you guys have been here for a while and you remember when I first started doing these check-ins, um, it seemed like Mark was over all the time when I first started budgeting. And it was just like kind of him getting used to having a budget, I guess and sticking to something, but he's done so well for the past few months and he always has money left over. So I'm really proud of him. For my spending, I started with 350. I didn't spend anything this week, but I did have an expensive month because I had a hair appointment this week. So that took most of my money, but I still have $22 left. So that's fine. And I don't think I will be spending anything else in the last three days. For our pet budget, we started with 375. We didn't spend anything this week, but we were already way over last week. So we are negative. $386 in this fund. You guys already know why, but if you're new here, basically um, one of our dogs, we had to put her down. She was very sick. And then we had another dog who had a regular vet appointment and that cost more than I thought it would. So we had a lot of pet things this month. Some of it was planned, some of it was not planned, but regardless, we went over by quite a lot. So again, I'm thankful that we have money to cover this spending. Um, but I don't like going over obviously because I would rather extra money go to debt payoff or savings, but I'm just thankful that we had extra. So you guys will see everything in the final budget check-in, but just wanted to let you guys know that it's fine. <laughs> and then for gifts, we started with 550. We spent 277 this week. Most of our gift spending this month was for Logan's birthday. Then we had some teacher gifts. And then I had a friend that I bought a baby shower gifts for or baby baby gifts for. 
So um, we did go $7 over, but that's okay. $7 isn't too big of a deal. So I can work with that. For eating out, we started with 263. We did have a big or a bigger eating out week this week. So we spent $129, but we didn't spend anything the first two weeks and we didn't really spend much the third week. We still have $87 left, which is honestly awesome for us. We hardly ever, I don't think actually, since I've been doing these check-ins, I don't think we've ever had $87 left for eating out. So I'm really happy with that. Um, if we could do that every month, that would be great. For miscellaneous, we didn't spend anything this week. Um, we are $64 over. We just had a lot of like random things popping up that I didn't think about. So um, unfortunately we're over in that category as well. So we were over in five categories this month. Um, that's not the best, but in total, we spent $730 this week. So we definitely did spend more this week than we did last week. And if you um, combine all of the funds together, we were only, I say only, that's a lot, but we were $217 over budget in all of our expense spending categories. But, um, you know, some of these funds where we had money left over kind of made up for the funds where we went over. So we weren't as over um, as it looks like we were. I don't know. We still, $217 is a lot to be over. But um, again, I have money to cover it, so we will be fine. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.